Hello children. In this session, we are going to learn about types of sentences. We will see that there are four types of sentences. Assertive or declarative sentences. Interrogative sentences. Imperative sentences. And exclamatory sentences. What exactly is a sentence? We know a group of words that makes complete sense is called a sentence. It expresses complete thought. A sentence begins with a capital letter. All sentences do not state the same thought or feeling. Let's read these four sentences. The grass is green. How are you feeling? Look out of the window. I'm scared of lizards. All these four sentences are different because they state different thoughts and feelings. The first sentence simply says the grass is green. The second sentence asks a question. How are you feeling? The third sentence gives a command, look out of the window. And the fourth is expressing strong feelings regarding lizards. I am scared of lizards. So we can see sentences are of different types depending upon what they express. So now we are going to talk about types of sentences. There are four types of sentences. First, assertive or declarative sentences. Assertive or declarative sentences simply says something. They are of two types, positive or negative sentences. Second, we are going to talk about the interrogative sentences. They ask questions. Third, we are going to talk about the imperative sentences. These sentences express a request, a command or an advice. And lastly, we are going to talk about the exclamatory sentences which talk about strong feelings. Assertive or declarative sentences. These sentences Simply say or state something. Read carefully. The sun shines brightly. We are going to the market. I know the complete truth. These are all assertive sentences. The assertive sentences simply say or state something. It begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. Assertive or declarative sentences. Assertive or declarative sentences are of two types affirmative sentences and negative sentences. Affirmative sentences are also known as positive sentences. These sentences give us information, they make positive statements, whereas the negative state sentences have no or not, they negate or oppose an idea. With help of some examples, we will see how we can change an affirmative sentence into a negative sentence. To change an affirmative sentence into a negative sentence, we need to add no or not in it. For example, I am hungry. I am not hungry. He is tall. He is not tall. Mike likes roses. Mike does not like roses. Richa has a task for you. Richa has no task for you. He has some money. He has no money. So children, we can see how by just adding no or not, we can make an affirmative sentence into a negative sentence where it opposes an idea. So now we will talk about Interrogative sentences. Let's read these sentences. Where are you going? When did you come? Who is knocking at the door? What do you want? 
how can i help you all these sentences are asking something and they are ending with a question mark interrogative sentences have words that ask something these words are called asking words and they end with a question mark so we can say interrogative sentences ask questions they have asking words for example where when who what how these sentences end with a question mark imperative sentences now let's read these sentences carefully open the window keep the noise down please open the door give me some milk please kindly pass the book to john watch your step before taking it you should eat healthy food don't run or you will fall in these sentences some express command like in open the window keep the noise down some are request as an example 3 4 and 5 whereas some are advice as an example 6 7 and 8 imperative sentences express a command a request or an advice so we can conclude that imperative sentences give a command an advice or make a request they begin with a capital letter but an imperative sentence can end with a full stop or an exclamation mark depending on the forcefulness of the command as said earlier an imperative sentence can end with a full stop or an exclamation mark depending on the forcefulness of command for example open the window here the sentence ends with an exclamation mark because it is a command and it is given with lot of force whereas open the window please is a request and the sentence ends with a full stop walk carefully on the road it's a command and it ends with an exclamation mark please walk carefully on the road it's a request and the sentence ends with a full stop lower your voice at once it is a command given with lot of force so it ends with an exclamation mark lower your voice at once please it's a request so it ends with a full stop the exclamatory sentences now let's read these sentences i hate cockroaches happy birthday amy how beautiful the rainbow is what a silly mistake i made how kind of you hooray i won the match all these sentences here talk about feelings they are stating strong feelings i hate cockroaches how beautiful the rainbow is what a silly mistake i made hooray i won the match all these sentences are talking about strong feelings they end with an exclamation mark so with this children we conclude our session on types of sentences thank you